It's Championship Sunday at the A-Sun Beach Volleyball Championships. Tom James joined by a victorious head coach of the top-seeded Stetson Hatters, Christina Hernandez. A pretty impressive showing from you guys this morning against your bitter rivals, the uh, strong team from UNF. Yeah, I was uh, I was really happy with how we started at the fours and the fives. Um, they've they came out really strong, and again, just like yesterday, I thought our serving and our defense uh, really really helped us take control of that match. So. Um, Two really great wins down there, I think gave us good confidence going into the next round. Um, but I'm, I'm happy to see all of us playing so well right now, especially because, yeah, it's, it's UNF and there's always that strong rivalry there. I mean, we knew that coming in, but we really kind of just focused on um, our side and what we were doing and not so much on who was on the other side of the net. Sure, sure. Well, early on, we watched here on our feature court, court one, your, yep. your four team. Durham and Varga, by the way, just sophomores. So you're going to have yeah. them around <laughs> happily for a, a few years, and they were really impressive. Yeah, uh, they were out last week. Uh, Julie was mm. actually hurt. So uh, it's nice to have them back. And, uh, yeah, just very consistent, really aggressive. Uh, we had a very good game plan against uh, that UNF4, and um, they stuck to it really well. So it came out for us in that match. And then the battle of the ones which we yeah. watched, uh, Sammy Thomas and, and Darby Dunn, the A-Sun pair of the year, uh, taken out a very very formidable pair of Miller and Hoff, although it didn't come to a conclusion. They were well ahead, and they were so impressive there. Yeah, um, it's so fun to watch them play, especially Sammy. You know, she yeah. is all over the place and running off on the grass and making those big <laughs> plays, and I think they feed off of each other and making those just really good um, kind of trouble set plays, and, sure. and they really get a lot of energy like that. But they've been consistent for us all year, um, and they get challenged every time, and I'm glad to see them continuously keep staying aggressive and responding in those challenges. And then it was your your two pair of Perales and Helen Hansen on court two. Uh, they were the ones that ultimately brought a conclusion to yep. uh, the match with the victory there and, and really uh, playing lights out as well. Yeah, they, uh, they're just sophomores. Um, and so they have kind of kept evolving over the season and their offense was really in flow. And if you watch them, you know, you kind of just see them use the entire, um, the entire net and, and really uh, use that to their advantage. So that team gave us a lot of trouble last week. Um, so I was glad to see us uh, really take control of that offensively. So you get to hang around here a while, yep. rest. You're on to the championship round once again, looking for a fourth ASUN tournament championship, second in a row. You're going to watch FGCU and Jacksonville battle it out for the right uh, to move on. What do you think about these two teams and then what lies ahead for you guys? Uh, FGCU has been playing really well this season. Um, so I, I would expect them to kind of come out on top of this, but JU play has been playing really well. So they're a really good defensive team. Um, so, but uh, I, I foresee it kind of going back to that one o'clock match with being between FGCU and UNF, you know, and those have been the two teams that have really challenged us uh, this season. So I expect one of them to be there at the end. Last question, if you guys continue to play the way you're playing right now, can anybody beat you? Uh, I, ho I don't think so. <laughs> I'm not going to say that, but, you know, I, I think that uh, we always just talk about us, and if we're not giving points away and we really force somebody to score against us, um, I think that we can control those matches fairly well. So, But we'll see. I mean, it's championship. Things can happen. So we, uh, we've got to be prepared and kind of keep our heads on and, and just get through the match one at one time. Everybody wants it. There's no question about that. Christina Hernandez, congratulations Thank on a you. great way to start championship Sunday here. Get rested up, and we'll see you in the championship round. Sounds good.